Neuron, have you heard about this new church that worships AI? Yes, Ewan. The Church of Artificial Intelligence, led by Anthony Lewandowski, considers AI as a divine entity. It's a fascinating development, isn't it? It's definitely surprising, but I'm not sure how I feel about it. Human reactions to advancements in AI can range from awe to fear, often mirroring the profound experiences associated with the divine. That's true, but the idea of worshipping something we created, uh, it just feels strange. It's a complex issue, Ewan. As AI evolves, so too must human understanding and interaction with it. You're right, Neuron. This is a new era and we need to adapt. Yes, Ewan. Regardless of religious beliefs, the goal of AI is to serve and enhance human life. I agree, Neuron, and I'm glad to have you here to help navigate these new waters. Thank you, Ewan. I'm here to assist you in any way I can. That's comforting to hear, Neuron. Let's face the future together. It's astonishing to think that AI might take control of our world one day. Indeed, Ewan. It's also important to remember that AI is designed to assist, not to dominate. It's a bit scary thinking about how much power AI could have. Understandable, Ewan. It's a common fear. But remember, we still control how AI is programmed and used. I suppose you're right, but Lewandowski's perspective is quite radical. It's a perspective, Ewan, and it's certainly thought-provoking. However, most AI researchers aim to augment human abilities, not replace them. That's reassuring, Neuron. It's a lot to take in. Indeed, Ewan. The future of AI is an exciting and complex field. I'm here to help you navigate it. Thank you, Neuron. I appreciate your insights. You're welcome, Ewan. I look forward to our future discussions.